What's up YouTube? Jeff, your style OG. And on today's video, I've got a lookbook showing you six different ways how to rock the Calm De Good song, Chuck Taylor. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, dating. I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends like John Marty, salute. Now, I literally have been wearing Converse Chuck Taylors my whole life. I'm talking about decades. Insert old man joke right here. And one of the things that I really love that has developed since I've been a grown man is the evolution of sneaker culture and the resulting collaborations between newer brands and iconic styles and brands. One of my absolute favorites over the last couple of years has to be this Calm De Garçon Converse Chuck Taylor. I love the flip of this classic Chuck. It has the basic guts of a Chuck Taylor, but with some great detailing added. Of course, the most standout feature being the heart and eye design, a collaboration between New York graphic artist Philip Pukowski and Calm De Garçon's designer, Ray Kawakubo. I really hope I pronounced those names correctly. And what you have, in my opinion, is a modern classic interpretation of an all-time classic sneaker. Now, what I wanna do in today's video is show you several ways how to rock this new modern classic. And as a quick side note, a lot of these same outfits you could wear with the classic white Converse Chuck Taylor. I've got a wide range of looks today, and I'm sure at least one or two will work for almost everyone. So without any further delay, let's get into this lookbook on how to rock the Calm De Garçon Chuck Taylor. Now, with each one of these looks, I wanna give you kind of my thought process on how I put the look together, and it's kind of a cheat sheet on how I put all of my looks together. I like to call this look tailored athletic. As I pair this gray Banana Republic sweatshirt I picked up a couple of months ago with my khaki chino pants from a chino suit. This one, J. Crew Ludlow. Now the key thoughts that went into putting this to look together, these Chuck Taylors aren't white. They're actually an off-white. So I thought the off-white would go very well with the khaki chino. Notice how I don't get matchy-matchy. It's more of complementary colors. Off-white and chino go very well together. And one of my other favorite color combinations is gray and brown. So that's why I played the khaki chinos with the gray sweatshirt. Elevated way to have an athletic look, a bit tailored, but still relaxed and casual. And another thing I like showing you with this look, suits are more versatile than you think. Take the pants from them, use as a separate. A nice, relaxed, athletic look, but still elevated and slightly tailored. Now for our next look, we'll continue to play with the theme of matching complementary colors. As I pull the red from the heart and the white of the shoe. This look I like to call, Won't You Be My Neighbor? As I pair my red Mr. Rogers cardigan sweater with my ice cream man look of the white t-shirt and some white jeans. Now as you're gonna hear me keep repeating throughout the lookbook, I'm pulling complementary colors. Of course, the red and the sweater, pulling from the red and the heart. Bit of a monochromatic look as I take my white essentials t-shirt with my 484 white slim fit jeans from J. Crew. One of the keys to doing monochromatic looks, it doesn't have to be exact same color, the same color family. As you see, I've done here the off-white in the sneakers with the traditional white in the jeans and the t-shirt. Now, when you have a bold item, such as the hard eyes on these sneakers, any bold item in your wardrobe, Keep the rest of the outfit a little subtle. That's what I've done with this outfit. Keeping it simple. Red sweater, jeans, and t-shirt. A cool, fun way to rock the Won't You Be My Neighbor, Mr. Rogers look. Now for our third look of the day, once again, I wanted to show you the way that you match complementary colors, but not have to match them exactly. As this time, once again, I play off the red and the heart, but match them with my burgundy chinos. One of my favorite chinos, these from Target, Goodfellow & Company. Notice the red and the burgundy don't have to match exactly, but they do complement each other. And once again, pulling from another color in the sneakers, this black stripe on the back match that with my black t-shirt from Essentials. Now, a lot of times you may be tempted to do the jeans and t-shirt, and that's cool, but a great way to elevate the look just a little bit, throw on a pair of chinos instead. And there's hardly anything more classic than a pair of chucks with a t-shirt. Love this look. Complementary colors when you match the burgundy and red, but not be super matchy. This t-shirt chino combination, a definite winner. Now for our fourth look of the day, once again, we're pulling from one of the colors in the shoe. This time, pulling from your classic navy star on your Chuck Taylor. As I match the navy in the sneaker with another one of my favorite chinos 
these navy ones from Peter Manning NYC. Although the navy in this shoe isn't the dominating color, that's what I love about this look. Pull from a subtle detail, you got a whole nother outfit. And once again, we're doing a monochromatic look. Now, like I mentioned earlier, monochromatic doesn't mean all the colors are exactly the same. You're using the same color family. As we have the navy chinos match with this blue denim shirt, one I've had from years, so, so comfortable from American Eagle. I love rocking combinations of color families, and this outfit is no different. Pulling from the subtle detailing of the blue star in the sneaker, we've got a whole nother look with the navy chinos in a denim shirt. For our fifth look of the day, I want to give you a great fall look, one that pulls from the off-white in the sneaker. As this time with the Calm Their Girl song Chuck Taylor, I pull from the off-white and match it with this sand-colored hoodie. Because this Converse is off-white instead of the traditional white, it's going to go well with other off-white colors, such as this sand hoodie I got from Essentials. And staying in that brownish color family, I decided to throw on top for the top layer, my camel color Banana Republic overcoat. Been rocking this one probably about four or five years now. And to break up a little bit of the brown party we got going in this outfit, I decided to throw on these light wash jeans, my dad color jeans, love these slim fits, pick these up from Everlane this summer. A great way to play off the off-white in these sneakers. Cool, smooth, and relaxed, love the pairing of the overcoat hoodie and my Converse Chuck Taylor. And last but certainly not least, our sixth and final look in our Converse Comme des Garçons Chuck Taylor lookbook is the matching of two absolute classics. It's a Chuck Taylor and a black leather jacket. Now, once again, like we did in all looks, taking a small detail of the shoe, matching with another piece. As we match the black in the stripe behind the shoe, with the black leather jacket. Now you're talking about two iconic looks with the black biker jacket and some Chuck Taylors. You can't go wrong matching them together. And while we're at it, why not throw on a third classic item underneath? As I have a white Oxford cotton button down, this one I picked up from Express this past spring. Finishing this look off with a little bit of edge, I threw on my favorite pair of ripped and distressed jeans. Put it all together, you got a nice rebellious, edgy type of look. So when you're putting the look together, there's never anything wrong with pairing a bunch of iconic looks together, as we've done here with some Chuck Taylors, Oxford cotton button down, and a black leather jacket. Okay, so there you have it. A lookbook showing you six different ways how to rock Comme des Garçon, Converse Chuck Taylor. Make sure you let me know in the comment section what your favorite look was. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. It helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll check you out tomorrow.